week on Healthy Living. As the Africa Cup of Nations nears to an end, we take a special look at the health and wellness of athletes. And Dr. Nuno Duarte Martins, a medical doctor for the Cape Verde national team, discusses what it takes for the well-being of athletes. Plus, does athletes' mind really affect their physical performance? Finally, we'll see why cuddling a pig might be good for you. These stories and more in this edition of Healthy Living. Hello, I'm Linoch Moudou. Welcome to Healthy Living. Athletes are often viewed as models of physical strength. They push themselves on and off the field and must be in good health to compete, overcome difficulties and achieve their goals. Experts say in high performance sports, athletes health and wellness refers to a condition of ideal physical, mental and social well-being associated with an athlete's uh, sporting achievement. And adequate preparations and the prevention of injuries are some of the key factors that determine an athlete's success or failure. How do players maintain their well-being and to what extent do preparations differ between male and female athletes? Reporter Annette Mugabo, who is attending the Africa Cup of Nations in Abidjan, sought out sports experts to share their insights as the competition intensifies toward the final games. Africa Cup of Nations, AFCON, in ongoing and ivory coast demanding football players to perform at their best. Athletes face the pressure and challenges both on and off the field. And experts say preparation is a key. Amanda Damin is the former captain of South Africa Women's Football National Team, also known as Wanyana Wanyana. She made the history as the first female commentator in the Africa Cup of Nations. She discussed what she used to do to maintain her well-being during her days as a player. Uh, key aspects, there's maybe a diet, a proper diet is very important. Um, a proper training routine is also quite important. Um, and I think maybe a consistent drive and focus to a particular goal. I think you will know what, what you will know, how far to train if it is that you're focusing on one particular goal. It's a tough one yeah, because sometimes your body can't give up because of fatigue um, and sometimes your mental as well can really get into fatigue. So it's important. We spoke about the diet, what it is that you eat, the kind of training that you have. I think it contributes to that equal balance of physical and mental. Sports coaches play a big role in the well-being of players, both mentally and physically. They must guide the athletes to stay health focused and motivate them to work hard and win. T. Olivier is a technical director of the International Basketball Federation. Great athletes always make sacrifices. They must eat well and eat healthy. They must rest, sleep well, and also exercise well. As a matter of fact, I cannot overemphasize the importance of a great lifestyle in the success or failure of an athlete. The role of a coach is also important. The coach is the guide. They push the athletes far with the ideal or right programs. Rest, sleep, and recovery are important. Dr. Ule Octave is a physician at National Institute of Youth and Sports and president of the Medical Council of FIBA Africa. He says a lot is involved in the well-being of athletes and there can be a difference to some extent depending on gender and age. Et donc le, la médecine du sport the emergence of sports medicine and science has greatly helped in the prevention of injuries. Good sports equipment, kits, good shoes for instance, will always help prevent some injuries from happening. Training methods also prevent injuries. One cannot train kids and adults in the same way. It is important for athletes to have the right kind of nutrition. The medical staff comprising doctors, physios, dietitians, psychologists, etc., play a big role in the prevention of injuries. 
Injuries can be physical or even psychological. The anatomy of a man is very different from that of a woman. We are talking about muscle mass and structure. Men and women take part in the same or similar sports, but the training can be very different. Dr. Nuno Duarte Martins is a surgeon specialized in sports medicine and medical doctor for the Cape Verde national team. VOA's Alvaro Andrade caught up with him during AFCON in Abidjan to discuss what it takes for athletes to stay healthy and prepare for the games. On the prevention side, we learn practices, as the name say, to prevent injuries such as precautions. Athletes must take in trainings and games with food, including the liquids they drink, the drinks we give them. And then we have diseases, which are related to the weather, the existence of typical conditions in a region like here. This region has a risk of yellow fever, so there's the need for vaccination. There's malaria as well, so we prevent by administering preventative medication weekly. In a competition like this, in a place with high temperatures and high humidity, we have lesions that are related to dehydration, a condition that can be very severe. We try to choose the best equipment for each weather condition. We also do the supplements to boost their immune system, to avoid situations like that, but also the preventative medication. They can't lose more than 2% of their body weight per day, or the risk not being able to participate in a high-level sports competition, such as soccer in this case, evaluating the clinical condition of the athlete to take the necessary measures right in the field, during the game or during the training, so we can have the diagnosis promptly or through complementing imaging methods. We act accordingly to each situation and we follow the protocols from the International Olympic Committee they also make us think about the more frequent injuries, such as concussions, brain traumas, contact trauma that can cause fractures, lesions in tendons and muscles. And I also think about the list of medications that I need to have available and the clinical stuff I need to travel with so we're well equipped to do this fundamental part, which is the recovery of injuries, but also the prevention of them. A high-level team must be accompanied by several healthcare professionals. It starts with the doctor, who leads the clinical staff, the physiotherapist, and in our case, we are very well taken care of in terms of physiotherapists. We also have a good masseurs, a chef. We have a chef who is with us, Lamine Medina, who is doing a great job. We can mention other professionals, such as psychologists, who can be available in person in many situations. In your opinion, does the psychological state of athletes affect their physical performance? Do you think it is possible to surpass yourself physically in sport and in general when you have mental strength? Here are some reactions from Abidjan. An athlete must have a very strong mind, a mind of steel. For example, when I have a competition, I already prepare myself mentally and psychologically. Why? Because I say to myself, giving all the time it takes for preparation, like four years for Olympic Games and Paralympic Games. Will I squander everything in a matter of seconds? No. So I build myself mentally. The greatest athletes who have reached the highest level in their career are really strong mentally. So it is necessary to train your mind to always be able to surpass oneself, whether it is in training and especially in competition. It's not just about the physical. Certainly, we work on everything you can be physically ready. And if you don't have mental strength to manage your stress during the big competitions, it is as if you haven't done anything, actually. An athlete without mental strength is like an athlete without motivation. You work on your mind. You do that gradually through training, gradually through competitions. You build a mind of steel. So I believe that the mind is an integral part of sports. It is a performance factor for athletes.
c'est un facteur de performance pour les athlètes. Oui, 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 le montant me permet de... Me In cases like football, for example, there are teams that when they concede a goal, they are morally down. There have been cases like that. You have to give yourself another mindset to bounce back. For me, the mind is a very important thing that I have to work on a lot. I feel a great relief when I do mental preparation before doing any activity. Does an athlete's mind really affect his or her physical performance? We asked James Wood, a former soccer player in the Malawi national team and partner and director with the sports company Rainbow Sports Global. Here is what he had to say. So you can think of the mind and body like friends on the soccer field. You need the mind and the body to interact. When I was playing, I learned that what I wanted my legs to do needed my mind as well. I couldn't just do it. I needed to have the right focus, the right, right mentality, the right training to be able to enact what I want to carry out on the pitch. And I learned from my mistakes that I wasn't that prepared whilst others were prepared. But I, you know, being in that setting of being in Denmark, we saw that our European counterparts were very equipped, were ready psychologically, mentally and physically. Whilst on our side, we were lacking quite a bit. And I think it was that realization from that time that the mind and body play a very, very close link together because the brain itself signals to our body that we have to pump up or slow down. We have to know that with the right nutrition, the right food, the right mentality, this is what helps us actually become elite athletes. And I think that element itself is something we really need to delve into a bit more, more so on the African continent. I think technology is advancing at a fast rate. And we need to understand how we can interlock those two to play a vital role because they are one unit. The Ivory Coast is a great example of this. In the group stages of the tournament, um, manager got fired, as you're well aware. The team, the players had to pick themselves up. And if you look at the way Ivory Coast have performed, they have won games in the last minute. Let's just take an example of the game against Mali. The game against Mali, 10 men down. The focus of the athletes for the Ivory Coast was that mentality that do not give up. You're, you're in very high tense situations. You've got thousands of fans watching you in the stadium. You've got millions elsewhere watching on television. You've got family members um, looking at you. That pressure is extremely high. So at that point, you need to have yourself, you need to prepare yourself mentally that you're, you're a champion. You're in battle. Training the mind is like going to the gym for your thoughts, to put it in that context. Now, you need to coach players in a way whereby they have to imagine winning. They have to imagine what it is to win. They have to set goals. They have to believe in themselves. Now, this is easier when you start that at a younger age in athletes. It's, it's a little bit harder. The, the older we get, we get more stuck in our own ways. So this is why grassroots football is extremely important, or grassroots sports in essence, be it basketball, hockey, netball. You have to start at a very young age where you're training the mentality. That mentality itself, you put that into practice. Switching gears, did you know that cuddling a pig might be good for you? That's according to this Japanese micro pig cafe. Take a look. Here at the Japanese micro pig cafe, small pigs run around, settling into visitors' laps and often find the most comfortable area to curl up in. I kind of want to take one home now. There is mounting evidence that um, associating with and owning pets can provide uh, mental health and physical health benefits. According to cafe workers, they are very clean and don't smell, unlike the stereotype. Customers say they are relaxing and make great pets. The cafe opened in 2019 and is now one of 10 branches nationwide. That's our show for today. For more health news, wellness tips, and medical breakthroughs, stay connected to Voice of America at voaafrica.com. You can follow me on X at Lenore Moudou. Until next time, stay well and strive to make every day a healthy day.